the mysteries of KW's relationship to temperature will be now revealed to you. Well, let's do pH versus temperature first and then look at KW a bit later. So pH 7, neutral there, and the temperature of the water that we're looking at. Well, if I draw in some points, you can see that when the pH is 7, the temperature is 25 degrees C. But pH isn't 7 for water at these various temperatures. It goes down below 7 and then above 7 when it gets colder. So let's see if we can explain that. This is the dissociation equilibrium for water, breaking up into the hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion. Here's the equation for Kw, which is 10 to the minus 14 molar squared. You can ignore the molar squared. The IB doesn't care. But that's at 25 degrees C. Looking at the equilibrium, you can see that that is endothermic, bond breaking. Energy has to go in, and I'm breaking bonds up. The water is broken in two. It's an endothermic forward reaction. And so from Le Chatelier's principle, the temperature goes up. It's going to favour the endothermic side. You heat it up, it tries to cool itself down, which means it shifts to the products. Temperature up, the hydrogen ion concentration goes up, and the pH goes down. If you cool it down, it favours the exothermic side, which is the reverse reaction according to Le Chatelier, so the hydrogen ion concentration goes down and the pH goes up. So that explains some of that graph. So pH neutral is 7 at 25 degrees C, but neutral is 6.14 at 100 degrees C. Now that seems a little confusing. pH 7 is only neutral at 25 degrees C. So what does neutral actually mean? Well, neutral means that the hydrogen ion concentration is equal to the hydroxide ion concentration. Acidic means there's more acid, and basic means there's more hydroxide. That's what it actually means. pH 7 doesn't mean neutral, unless it's a STP. So let's have a look at a calculation. That's a value for Kw, and you can ignore the units, at 50 degrees C. So what could you possibly be asked? Well, let's ask everything. Hydrogen ion, hydroxide ion, pH, and pOH. So just a reminder, there's the equilibrium. And from that, I get Kw, which in this case is 5.48 times 10 to the minus 14. Now, from the equilibrium, we know that these two are equal concentration from the equilibrium before. It's a one-to-one -one ratio for water. And so by square rooting that value, I can get the concentration of hydrogen ions. And that's also going to be the same for hydroxide ions. They're both the same. It's neutral. So pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration, and so that gives me 6.63, and you're thinking, oh, that adds up to 14. No, 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 no. That's only at STP. It doesn't add up to 14. Here, it's not STP. So I'll just do negative log of the hydroxide, but it's the same number. No problem.